Like, I know some really, really gorgeous females who have the stankiest, 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 stankiest attitude. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel, period. And today, I'm going to be hitting y'all with the girl talk. This is going to be my first girl talk, and I'm so excited. for a fat minute and now I just feel like it's the perfect time to do it because it's the first month of the year and everything has just been like going so well for me I'm gonna just say that so I'm gonna just I'm gonna just get on here and talk to y'all and I'm gonna just tell y'all I'm gonna give y'all a girl talk on how to be confident how to glow up 2021 period on poo because it's like I'm going to be spilling all the tea and let me know if y'all like my girl talk videos because I know when I did my weight loss, everybody like, I just feel like I'm talking to my cousin or my brother or something. I'm just like, subscribe because the vibes over here are like, why not? The heck? But girl, it's more than likely if you're watching this, you're a girl. I'm just so excited to be back in front of the camera because my freaking phone broke, but you know how that go, but we all together now. I'm just happy to be talking with y'all and I'm gonna be telling y'all how to glow, be more confident 2021 so we can march into this year, into this summer, into this fall, into the rest of this year and just be great and just love life because period. I need my nails done. Don't mind my nails. Normally my nails stay done. I haven't had a broke nail. As you can see, it looked really bad. So I didn't want to get my nails done while I was damaged. Cause it looked horrible, but it's about to grow out. So your girl about to get her nails done because this cannot be, this cannot be. But yeah, like I said, today's topic is gonna be how to build slash gain and keep self-confidence, honey. And I'm gonna be telling y'all how to glow the fuck up 2021. So if you like this video, like I said, make sure you leave it a like. Comment, make sure y'all leave them comments. I love commenting and responding to y'all. I love to hear what y'all got to say. I treat y'all as my family. So become a part of the family, period. But yeah, I'm gonna just get on into it and say personal experience. I would just say I made this video because I get like comments on a daily, like from my younger subscribers, because I know some of you guys are my younger subscribers and you guys tell me like how you guys feel and like, I read all of them and I just can't comment enough because I get one like every day and somebody tell me, oh, I'm this old and I just don't, I just don't feel like get myself together. Like I can't dress myself like because my style is on pause and I know because I felt like that. So it's just like, I just want to be there to talk to you all pretty much like just wanted to make this video. And shout out to all my younger girls watching my weight loss video. I just want y'all to know y'all don't have to change for nobody, forget everybody. Like, period. At the end of the day, you are who you are. If you gotta change for somebody, you shouldn't be around the person. I'ma just say. But when I was younger, I'ma say middle school, I'ma say a little bit of high school, I was very like insecure. And it's just like, it wasn't necessarily my fault. But it was like, it was my fault because I made myself feel that way. You should never make yourself feel that way. You should never make your feel, you should never make yourself feel not good enough. And I don't know who making you feel like you're not good enough, but you need to keep, you need to stay away from them. Because if you feel like, why would you have to step out your comfort zone to impress somebody else? Like, they can really go on about their life and you can go on about yours. Like you could be doing so much better, not worried about, what somebody else got to say about you, like if that makes sense. Like, it just takes you growing and maturing as a person to really understand that. Because I used to let everything that people say get to me. Like, especially since when I was younger, I was bigger. And I used to tell everybody that, like, I was bigger than my cousins, I was bigger than my friends, I was bigger than my celebrity inspirations, like China and McLean, Selena Gomez, uh, Zendaya. I was bigger than all of them, and I'm just like, huh, like, who can I look up to or? Whole like me or just like I just felt out of place if that makes sense like I always felt like it was something that I wasn't doing right or I could be doing better and it was just me growing up I had to learn that pretty much 
you are yourself. Like, you are better. As long as you're doing as much as you can do, what is better, honey? What more can you do? Period. Like, as long as you give it to your all, it's all that should matter. I just felt like if I was smaller, I'd be more appealing to people. Like, I would have more friends. Like, maybe I'd be more popular. Like, I just felt like me being bigger took away from my social life, me personally meet my self-esteem it just took away from a lot of things and it really shouldn't be like that because like i said i'm gonna get into more into the weight loss thing throughout the video but it shouldn't be like that because everybody's perfect the way they are and everybody just everybody's different pretty much so you can't really compare yourself to the next person like i said i tell everybody do not compare yourself to somebody you will run yourself crazy trying to be like the next person Never that. So keep that in mind. Nobody's perfect. So why go and be the next person if the next person is not perfect and you're not perfect? Why would you want to go be them? Like, we all not perfect out here. Like, I can't stress it enough. Like, looks may be deceiving, but people, some people don't have it as good as they may seem to. Let's just say that. I never liked dressing up because I felt like everything that I wore wouldn't look right on me or it didn't fit right or just stuff didn't look right on me that would look right on an average smaller person or something like that. Like when I would go shopping with my friends, when I would go shopping with my friends, I would feel so insecure because it was like I was bigger than them. So when we would wear clothes, they clothes would fit better than they would fit me and we would be wearing the same thing and I'm like, oh, you know what, at this point, we can just stop trying on clothes. I don't even want to try on clothes no more. Like, I just didn't want to necessarily do all that type of girly and girl stuff because I just felt like I was comparing myself to the next person and I didn't want to feel like that. And also sometimes, like, they wouldn't have stuff in my size or in a certain color in my size that they would have in their size. And I'm like, oh. Um, it just sucks. So I'm just like, I just gotta go shopping by myself. Like, you all have to just go start shopping by yourself. If that's how you feel, just learn your own personal style. Don't base your style off of what everybody else or your friends is wearing. Cause sometimes, you, if I can't rock what the next person can wear. And they can't rock what I can wear. So it's just like, people pull off different things. Like, who wears this? This might not be a look for you, but it's my look. I, I really don't care, but I don't care now, but I did really, really bad, and that was my thing. So you just gotta, you gotta ease back on the caring pool because like, if you care too much, you'll run yourself crazy. But yeah, when I couldn't get stuff in my size and it was just a whole bunch, I didn't want to take pictures. Like, when I didn't dress myself up or get cute and stuff like that, I didn't shop a lot, so with me being bigger. I shot for my grandparents and stuff like that. So that did, really didn't help my style. But with that being said, I really didn't want to take pictures. Like, I took face pictures, but I just felt like, first of all, I was bigger. And then second of all, my clothes. It was just a whole bunch of going on with me that I felt like could be better. But at the end of the day, you are who you are. You got time to grow. Like, everybody has time to improve. Like. Beyonce didn't just wake up looking like Beyonce, even though she lied and said she woke up like that, like lied. Like, you look at all these celebrities and they baby pictures and all that, and they high school pictures, like they dress just like us, like basic, just like us. Look at um, the city girls, like JT now, they was just like us pretty much. And then just blew up. Money just, money can change you pretty much. So if you don't have it, Work with what you got. That's all I can say. Just I can't express that enough. Like, don't try to live beyond your means and go broke trying to do all this extra. Just, just do what you can, pretty much. But at that point, I do believe my self-esteem was lower because I could I didn't want to take pictures and because I didn't want to dress up and do all this other stuff and because I didn't feel like a girlier girl, I didn't feel like nobody was talking to me, I didn't feel popular, so I did feel like my self-esteem was lower. Woo! And then also other little certain things that used to get to me is I couldn't get my hair the way I used to want to get my hair, like my parents used to make me wear type of hair styles, they bump the ends and stuff, and I'm like, bro, I don't want to wear this, like, it was just a whole bunch of things that made me feel 
down about myself because everybody else can do it. Why can't I do it? I'm sitting over here looking like Betty Crocker in 1992 and stuff. Everybody else all this just flashed out. Like, but at that point, after that, I just had to learn myself. Like, I went on YouTube and started learning how to do box braids and stuff like that. Learning how to braid my own hair, which took into me like taking more time into myself, like spending more time with myself, if that makes sense. Like, that's what boosts your self esteem. Like, sit in the mirror more and just prep with yourself, pretty much. That's the part of self love, and I'm gonna get into that a little bit later on. At the time, dark skins were kind of like, they weren't popping, like, they were more so made fun of. So, I'm gonna just say, Dark skin is beautiful, honey, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it no more because I feel like it's always gonna be that difference, and I really don't respect it at all. So with that with that being said, I'm gonna just say dark skin is beautiful, period. But nobody is better than anybody. Like I just feel like that. But at the time, I always used to did feel bad about being that one dark skin person because they be like. Oh, you dark skinned this, or you black, or you burnt this, and it's just a whole bunch of other. Like, it shouldn't be like that, but it was. And sometimes it still is. I don't know if it still is in schools or what, but dark skin is beautiful. And I can't get I can't get over that. Like, I love being dark skinned. I don't know. I mean, I love my culture. I love the fact that there's different shades of dark skin and brown skin. I love the fact that all of us look different. So with that being said, I don't respect the the, the division this that they have between that, but that's why I'm not gonna get more into that subject. But like I said, I'm gonna move on to self-love. I'm gonna just say I just started learning self-love. Like and it takes time to learn self-love. Like I don't think you just wake up and be like, I ain't popping. You should, but you don't. Like you have your down days. Everybody has their down days and you know, it just, it comes and goes. But with self-love this year, I'ma just tell y'all, look in the mirror more. I'ma just tell you to look in the mirror more, you know, get your Nicki Minaj face on. You know, get yourself together and get cute. And tell yourself, you know, I am that female. Even if nobody's telling you you are that female, you are that female. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Like it should not be a question. You should not question yourself about who you are. You know who you are, so get it together. No, let me stop. <laughs> but for real though, like really, look in the mirror more, it helps you build self-confidence. Stay your outfits and just take pictures. Take a lot of pictures, you know what I'm saying? Like if you have a lot of clothes in your room, just style different clothes with different clothes. Just do something. Like, just change a whole bunch of outfits from time to time. Get yourself real girly and cute. Take pictures. Make sure your outfit's not the same as it was last time. Just do little girly girl things. Just to make yourself feel cute. Learn how to apply. Lashes pull. Lashes bring your girls out. So I'm going to say every, every girl should learn how to apply lashes. Especially if you want to feel better about yourself. Like, girl, get your lashes on and go out. Because who's talking about what? Get your lashes on and go out. I'm going to say get into fashion, hair, nail, and makeup videos on YouTube. Like, the more I used to watch them, the more girlier I used to feel, or the more girlier I used to act. Like, then after that, I started wanting to do makeup and doing all of that. And then I started taking pictures. Like, that helped me feel better when I was younger, doing makeup and learning more about makeup and all of that stuff that I learned on YouTube. So, I'm going to say get into that. I'm going to say learn cool hairstyles. Like, when I say I went on YouTube and learned how to do my own hair because they wasn't giving me the hairstyles that I want to have. So I went on YouTube and looked up how to do some box braids and got that dollar here and went to do it myself. Go do that stuff yourself. First of all, it pays off. Second of all, you might get your little hobby in. I'm gonna say you can do a little bit of window shopping online. Window shopping online is your average girl thing. We love looking on Fashion Nova and looking at the deals. Fashion Nova always talking about a sale. First of all, they're trying to take all my money. They need to go on with the go to get. Not like for real, like I'm tired of that. Like, 
I'm only one girl. Yeah, I'm just say do some window shopping online if you can't necessarily buy the things. It just gives you a sense of what you will wear, a little bit of style, you know, say some stuff to your wish list. You might want to buy it eventually. You never know. Get, don't talk about me because I'm being biased. I need my freaking stuff did. But get your nails, your feet did, or if you can't get it did, paint them. I don't have no paint, so don't talk about me again. But if you can't do that, paint it. Paint is only like a dollar at the store, but you know, your girl is lazy. Like I said, I'm biased. Go to the store pretty much. Pretty much just visit your local store and just get you some nail polish and spend some time with yourself, listen to music and paint your fingernails and your toenails. Soak them in some hot water. Scrub your little skins off. Paint your freaking toenails. Paint your freaking fingernails. I'm gonna say do your baby hairs because that helps you spend more time in the mirror, you know, just swoop to do and you know, listen to your music. There's different styles to do baby hairs with too, so experiment. I'm gonna say spray yourself with different fragrances and surround yourself with different fragrances and smells like candles and stuff. Like get deodorized, you know what I'm saying? Get lotioned up and just chill. Like turn on your LED lights. It's a ball if you have LED lights. If you don't, good enough, you know, just chill, just vibe. Sit pretty. Cause who doesn't like to smell good? You just, well you know you smell good, it's just like, I am that. Bye. You get into weight loss and say, everybody hugs different. Like everybody's different sizes. We're all different. Like we can't compare ourselves to everybody. Like we would run ourselves crazy trying to compare ourselves to other people. Like, don't compare yourself to other people. Like you think Beyonce worried about what the next girl doing when she got money? Not, not really. Probably a little bit, but not really. So pretty much don't necessarily worry about the next person. Like everybody hugs different, everybody wears different clothes, everybody rocks clothes different. Like, like I said, everybody has a different style and you just gotta find yours. Like you gotta find different girls who got your different body type, maybe to try and sway you towards a different style, but everybody looks different in certain clothes. Like I said, somebody could wear something way better than me and I could wear something way better than somebody else. That's just how it goes. <laughs> But also into the weight loss, if you want to see more, I made a whole video on that and we almost at 40k with that. So if you ain't seen it, go see it, go make sure you click on it. But yeah, I'm gonna just say eat smaller portions and also like enforce healthier, like healthier changes instead of like chips, do crackers or smaller things like that can help you take a long, like can take you a long way to weight loss. And then on top of that, I'm gonna just say don't stress weight loss because if you stress it, it won't happen. It'll be harder. Let's just say that because stress kind of makes you gain weight and then sometimes it helps people lose weight but at the same time, you don't ever want to stress yourself out or run yourself crazy behind something. It's all about your mental health overall, okay? It's all about you first. Don't try and do anything for anybody else. Like, lose weight for anybody else, girl. You, if I gotta do it for you, you can go on at the end of the day because I was fine before you got here and I'll be fine without you, period. And I'm just, with that, I'm gonna lead on into these breakups because if they leave, they wasn't meant to stay. I'm gonna tell, I'm tired of telling people that. If you heard right now, I'm sorry. If somebody can get in the way of us this early off, I hate to see what would happen if I would have let you lay me on. Like, if that makes sense. Like, you really would have had me out here looking stupid, so I'm happy that you showed us your, your true colors now, pretty much. Like, you really take that energy elsewhere because we don't need it. We was fine before you. We gonna be fine without you. Like, what was we doing before you? Same thing we gonna be doing after you or same thing we can be doing with you. You choose, period. But I'm gonna just say with that, like if they was meant to come back, they gonna come back. And at, with the, at that point, it's gonna be like your choice. You choose whether to bring them back in your life. You choose whether to deal with all of that again. It's gonna be your turn to roll the dice. But until then, you boss up. And just like in your head, convince yourself that they still trying to mess with you type thing. And like boss up for that reason. Like, I know some people who do that and it's okay. Like, it's okay to dig. It's okay. It's okay. That's what helps you get over it. By all means, we just trying to get over something. But at the same time, just sit there and be like, 
Ah. Okay, just think of it like this. It was something that attracted them to you, so. True. That's what I do. <laughs> you was here for some reason, so. And more than likely, they'll be back, so. I ain't tripping off nothing. And that's how you gotta have your mindset, girl. Like, period. I cannot express that enough to you, girl. Yep, but like, box yourself up. It can't rain forever. And like I said, you was fine before them. You gonna be fine after. You, you gonna be doing bigger and better things after. Because like, who needed them in the first place? And on to this, I'm gonna say, with the not pretty enough, nobody's supposed to look, act, or be the same. So keep that in mind. Like, don't try and go off and be somebody else. So, with the not pretty enough part, I'm gonna say that's a bunch of bull because the prettiest girl could be the ugliest girl. Like, I know some really, really gorgeous females who have the stankiest, 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 attitude. And it's just like, why do you act like that? Like, for what? It's just like, you so pretty and it just don't seem like you would be that way. Stop. And you don't want to be that person so pretty. That's how you be pretty. Just keep your energy pretty. Just sit pretty, mind your business, focus on you. That's the that's the motive this year. Focus on you. Why is you so weird? But with that being said, I'm just saying, looks don't make you gorgeous. Like, it's about personality, really. To keep it up, uh, nobody looking at your face no more in 2021. They looking at your attitude and how you carry yourself. Period, period. And with that, I'm gonna just say invest more time in yourself. Like, when you invest more time in yourself, it gives you a more positive feeling about yourself. So, I know when I was younger, I used to invest a lot of time and a lot of money into other people. And, I mean, some people call it generous. Now, I call it stupid. Cause like, I just thinking about all the money I could've had, but, or all the stuff I could've had bought myself, or all the stuff I could've had now. Just the stuff I could have done or something like that. Just invest more time into yourself than you do falling into others. If that makes sense. And last but not least, I'm gonna say not good enough. Throw that away. The door. The door, okay? As you doing what you can, as long as you putting in the most effort, as much as you can, as much as, as, much as you can do, what more can you do? That's all, that's all you should be thinking about. As long as I put in as much effort, as much as I can do, and I can't do no more, don't even stress it, just let it be. Because when I tell you stuff is gonna play out to be how it's gonna be regardless, we can't change it. It's just how life is going. Life is like already ready, pretty much. This is like the choice we make, you gotta be wise about it. Don't need for anybody's approval, if that makes sense. Like if you live for their acceptance, you'll die by their rejection. And I'ma just leave y'all on that note. Period. So, with that being said, if you like the video, and if you wanna see more girl talk videos with, with your girl, cause you know I love doing videos, I like, I like this. I really appreciate y'all, so. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hop out. I'm just gonna pull up. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna, just gonna pull up. And then, comment and subscribe to the channel because I want to see what y'all want to see more of. If y'all want to see more of these videos, let me know. But I'm about to head out. I'm about to head out. Period. on poop. Hey y'all, I know it's your favorite. When I was younger, not necessarily. There was a time when I used to eat sandwiches without no bread and I feel like that helped too because bread is